Hey, John. Lord Norm White here, the Holy Ghost, the one true God. Back with you with the next video in my Madden 22 play. Today, bringing you Raven at Chief. Without further ado, let's have some fun. The Chiefs get set to do battle with the Baltimore Ravens. I'm coming off a four uh, a four game losing streak. You only saw three games, the last one glitched out. But I'm determined to get a win this Justin game, so it's gonna be a lot of fun as we, we set off on Madden 22. With the Ravens and the Chiefs. And they're gonna start this drive in pretty good shape as they get it up past the 30. the 32 now here's first and 10 here's Mahomes to throw now a swing pass it's Edwards Alaire and he'll go out of bounds it looks like right at the 40 I like it I like it I like it get everyone involved in the passing game and you know you can create those great mismatches throwing it to your guys out of the backfield and on the first drive that can also help establish some rhythm right I think so and gets everyone involved they feel like they're part of it and really gets them amped up as they go forward they'll run for the first time with Clyde Edwards Alaire how best to describe that one? I'd say right down Broadway on that run. A straight ahead running. I think that that might be something we see a lot of between the tackles today. Well, he's enjoying things so far here this afternoon. Sees a crease and bursts through it for a solid game. 43, 43. Here's Edwards Hilaire. And he sneaks his way forward only for a couple here, second down. Not the kind of game that will go absolutely crazy for, but it's the kind of game that you need to have when you're running back in the NFL and Clyde Edwards-Alaire with that low center of gravity and strength. He's going to get those tough, gritty yards for you when necessary. On second down, a run with Edwards Alaire. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. They did tell us they wanted to establish the ground game early, didn't they? They did, and a small sample size that we've seen so far, but pretty good return. Yeah, you gotta like that. They've strung together a couple of first downs, established what they wanted, the running game. And guess what? They also got their lead guy running it pretty well, too. Now they'll throw with Mahomes. That one complete to Hill. Five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. One thing we do know, he's gonna get his catches. So as they move forward defensively, gotta continue to focus on not giving up the big play when he does catch the ball in the secondary. Edwards-Alaire as they run out of the gun. And he's able to get it down to the 25-yard line. You were telling me this yesterday. That's exactly what they want to do on the opening drive, establish the ground game. Yeah, remember our conversation we were talking about where one of the GMs in the league has told me repeatedly, it's a big man's game. And it's not necessarily size. He's talking about playing some big boy football. Line up, get leverage, knock people back, and establish the run early. Now Edwards Alaire, and he sneaks his way forward only for a couple here, second down. Not a whole lot there. The defense was ready, it looked, for that run pass option. You get the sense that next time he has that opportunity, he may keep it himself and get to the perimeter. Probably owes his back a little bit of an apology on that one, huh?
We're scoreless after one. Second quarter from Arrowhead. It's the Chiefs in possession. Ball at the 23, second and eight. Throwing on second and eight. Mahomes, the tight end Kelsey has it over the middle. The reception good for seven. It's third down. That's a staple of this offense. Drag route to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. takes it himself. Uh-oh, he is going nowhere as he is enveloped behind the line. So call that no gain on the sneak, and now there's still a yard short here on fourth. No need to panic. Been here before. We can execute. Take our time. It's Mahomes. Nicely done. Kelsey, left side. And the Chiefs are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. And that's a big pickup of a first down. And you know that all week, both sides of the ball, offense and defense, are going through every situation. And in this case, the offensive guys had the right play dialed up because defensively, you work on fourth down situations as well. And deflating for the defense, they can't get the stop here. They'll run with Edward Jalair. And he will take it. Touchdown, Kansas City. Clyde Edward Jalair. A 10 yard touchdown run. As his guys are first out of the scoreboard here this afternoon. Harrison Butker is on for the extra point. And his kick is good to make it 7 0 KC. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. Devin Duvernay now returning from the end zone. And no chance to get away as they'll get him down at about the 17-yard line. Jackson and the Ravens come up now first and 10 at their own 17-yard line. Off play action, Jackson. Eluding the pressure right. Catch is made by Marquise Brown. And he'll be out of bounds near the 30. In fact, right on the 30. That is definitely what we call on defense an uh-oh play. And what you mean by that is against Lamar Jackson, when you see him out of the pocket, your first thought is, uh-oh, he's going to try and run it. How do I get to him and get him on the ground? And guess what? That didn't happen, and his receivers took advantage. And they'll let the quarterback keep it here on first and 10. And he'll lose yardage here, going down back at the 28. Two yards the loss, second and 12. Two minutes on the clock, second quarter, 7-0 ball game. just a couple of minutes we'll get you to Orlando and our good friend Jonathan Coachman coach will run through some of the numbers and the next gen stats from this first half of football so far on second and 12 Jackson flush to his right that's complete. It's Devin Duvernay. And they work this well upfield across the 45. They'll throw on first down with Jackson. He'll swing this out to Dobbins. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Yeah. 
Jackson. Escaping the pressure right. Give him a couple on the scramble. It's second down. Now the Ravens going to use one of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. Second down and eight. From the gun, it's Jackson. Flushed out right. It's just a gain of a couple there on the scramble, and now it's third down. Well, you know, paramount for this defense is trying to keep Lamar Jackson somewhat contained when he tries to run. They did a pretty good job of it there. And you know what's so difficult for every defense that has to prepare for Lamar Jackson? You have to think and play at the same time. And I know that sounds like something you're supposed to do, but when you have to think about your assignments against him, it often slows down your feet. And he's going to go down. Couldn't get a throw off with the pressure. Maybe that was for the best, as that brings us to the end of this first half of play. Time for a break. We've hit halftime. Two quarters down. Two still remain. We step aside. This is the NFL on EA Sports. The final adjustments taking place here for both of these squads. They're about ready for the second half in Kansas City. And for the Colt, we rejoin Brandon and Charles. And we welcome you back now. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, getting set for quarter number three here. The Ravens set to receive the football trailing here as we resume action in the third quarter. No run back here for Duvernay. Touchback out to the 25. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. And they do trail, but they have a chance to possess the football first to try and do something about it. And that certainly makes it something of an important drive for them because is it going to win the game? No, but you have to do something to bring some life to your sideline. They'll start by running the option to the right. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. A good gain on first, has him set up with second and just a couple of inches now from the 29. Jackson with a handoff to Dobbins on the option. And he's going to have a Ravens first down as he'll get this up to about the 42. Second and inches is oftentimes an invitation for an offense coordinator to take a big shot downfield because he feels like he can come back on third down and pick up the first down. But sometimes you just don't want to break tendency. Stay with what you are, stay with who you know, and go get the first down. That's exactly what they did. Play action. Now Jackson. And this is going to be hauled in by the tight end, Andrews. And he's going to get this down to the 35-yard line. Off the play fake. Here's Jackson. Eluding the pressure right. And he takes this just a few yards shy of the red zone before going out. That was an excellent job of recognizing the situation. His first read wasn't there. Heck, his second read wasn't there. But he bought himself a little extra time scrambling out of the pocket, got to the sticks, and picked up the first down. On first and 10, it's Jackson. And he'll go down here right around the 23-yard line. They go play action now. Jackson. Well, that's complete to the fullback, Ricard. 
And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. Well, this has certainly been a nice drive with the way they've spread the football around. Here, they even get the fullback involved in the passing game. That's got to cause a lot of consternation on the defensive side. You've got to cover him, too. That makes things really difficult. Still in search of their first touchdown of the game, but they're on the move, first and 10. Now it's Jackson. Now the pressure gets there, and he goes down just inside the 20 at the 19. So that complicates things a bit here. 18 yards to go now on second down. Another try after the first down sack. Jackson. And looking for Andrews, but this is intercepted. It's the Honey Badger, Tyron Matthew. And the Chiefs are going to have it here just past the 25. And a huge interception by Tyron Matthew, the Honey Badger. Ultimately derailed by the INT. And that was the position you wanted to be in, coming out to start this third quarter, get a nice drive going, looking for the end zone. Possibly got a little bit too greedy right there. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. And their defense just helped them out by getting the football back on the opening drive here in the second half. And now can the offense follow through with points on their first possession? And that's a big one for them because after the work the defense has done, they've got a chance here to open up this lead. And he's upended after a gain of two out to the 27. An opportunity to get a drive started here at the end of the third quarter. What you're trying to do is break the game down a little bit. Don't let your guys see too deep into the game, into the future, and say, oh, we got to get here. No, right here right in front of them, melt the clock down, get to the fourth quarter, try and keep going. And try to keep that lead. Exactly. From the 27th, Mahomes. It's Kelsey on the ground. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. But when you hit him on the move like that, and he's able to get into open field with a full head of steam, oh boy, it's going to be tough to get him down. Yeah, there was a big window. They're lucky they did get him down. And that is going to do it for this third quarter of action. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. First and 10, it's Edwards Alaire with it. And they're well past midfield, just a yard or two shy of the 40. 56 yards rushing now on eight carries for him so far. Now I'm guessing you'd say this is kind of the key here. Grind out some yardage, work on that clock, see if you can continue to take it down. Definitely, you want to bleed things out at this point, right? Continue to possess the football, gain some yardage, and put the onus on the defense. Do they have to use timeouts? What are they going to do to stop you? You're taking charge. They'll run with a backup. This is Williams. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run, all right? It was kind of stacked up, found a little bit of yardage, and frankly, they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense. The playbook is still open for the coordinator. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And he works it past the 30, almost to the 25. I think we're seeing the effect that runs like that are starting to have on this game. They're a little bit slower, that front seven reacting to the football, almost like body blows in boxing. Slowing them down, and they're really starting to take over in this game. They'll run here with Edwards Hilaire. They get him to the ground right on the cusp of the red zone after a pickup of five or six. Now the Ravens going to use one of their timeouts. It's just their first. They'll be down to two remaining as we step aside here in the fourth quarter. A shotgun snap and a give to Edwards Hilaire. And he'll take it down here just shy of the 15 at the 16-yard line. 
How about this offensive line? They're really starting to establish themselves, take over this game. And before the series began, I know exactly what was said in the defensive huddle. Guys, we got to get no less than a three and out. Let's get off the field. Instead, they can't find any traction towards doing that. Right now, they're just getting muscled all over the field and getting pushed down it. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. So the Chiefs in possession of the ball as we welcome you back. They've got a first and ten as they look to try and finish this one off. And they get to him quickly here as he stopped right around the 13. Linebacker Patrick Queen bringing him down. On second down, Williams. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. The Ravens going to use the second of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. On third down, here's Edwards Hilaire. And he'll get inside the 10, but he's short of the line he needed. Four yards on the pick up there, but it's going to take him to fourth down. Well, this was just simply excellent defense. On this third down, they had to be alert for the possibility of a pass, but that didn't stop them at all from understanding what was going on when they decided to run the football, and they just swarmed and stopped them for almost no gain. The Chiefs now going to use the first of their timeouts. That'll leave them with two remaining. We'll be back after this. So on fourth down, out trots the kicker in a big spot here. This to make it a two-score game. Butker's kick here is good. But wait up now, a flag is down. If this is on the defense... They're going to get the first, so they elect to decline it. And why not? Just go ahead and let the play stand, and they'll take that. After the field goal, here's Butker to kick it away. It's a two-score game. He has 27 seconds and one time up. So. Duvernay now going to bring it out. And in hindsight, probably should have taken a knee. I'm looking to put your shut out, man. I'm looking to put your shut out at this point, so. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. Throwing, Jackson. He'll buy some time right. First down and more for Jackson. And he'll have a quick first down here as he gets out of bounds to stop the clock. Late in the game, defense trying to avoid a big play. He's able to work out of the passing game, turn it into a run, pick up the first, and stop the clock as well. And you know in this situation, everything is sped up. The intensity, the thinking, everyone's movements. But for a quarterback, he has to continue to do what we call a flatliner. Level in everything he does and read the clock, feel it in the pocket, and go Next to the out is, is looking like it's going to be the reality now. now just six seconds remain. Time for one. Just showing that defensive plays. backbone. Jackson to throw. Looking for Andrews again. He's got him this time. And he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 40. So one last play, prevent three deep, and, he gets out of and uh, that's going to be the game, man. Because you have to run some guys down the middle that is going to be the game. Draw some of the defenders away. They can't just let them guard the sideline exclusively. That's how it's going to work. Sidelines and incompletions to use the clock. He's going deep for Brown. Good game. And so, with that, I want to say thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed. Please like. Comment so and subscribe. It's a great help for Kansas City. Like, like be with you all. Take care, all right? Thanks Girl, again. Offense certainly didn't need to do anything, right? They could take the day off, and they did. But the defense, they carried them.